Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Janaya and I mean it's been a minute. I haven't posted a video or recorded a video for a while. I'm very bad at uploading times. I haven't recorded in a while. Some things have happened in my life that have kind of put this on a hold but I'm back now and hopefully I'll try and get back on track. So I thought I'd kick off with a mini boots haul. I say mini. Um, to be more specific, a boots Harry Potter haul. Anyone from the UK knows that this Christmas boots have gone a bit Harry Potter mad and obviously I had to get some stuff because it all looks so cool. Some of it was out of stock but you know. And I do plan to get more. This is just what I've bought in one go so there may be a part two to this video so yeah let's get into this so we'll start with the smaller things and then leave the biggest thing for last so to start with we have a Deathly Hallows eyeshadow palette yes that is correct so it is £12.50 and it is the Deathly Hallows it is eyeshadow pretty much as it is, says yeah, I've kind of forgotten how to speak and film stuff, sorry. Uh, how do I open this? The little picture of the gift means it's like buy to get one free or something? Okay. I don't know what I just did. I'm not sure. So, it's a big old mirror. You're gonna see things you shouldn't see. So inside there are some quite dark colours. Some glittery... Purples, greens, blacks, a big triangular mirror. You can see my pile of uh, unopened subscription boxes over there. And it does have this green detail of the Deathly Hallows, which is really pretty. I really like this. It comes with some plastic over the front. Should we do a couple swatches? I want to go with the purple, the green. More of a black, actually. Let's go with the sparkly black. I mean, they're very sparkly. They're quite nice. For £12.50, it's not bad. And to be honest, this is probably one of the ones I got for free anyway, because I'm pretty sure this is the cheapest thing I bought, so it's probably came free. Next, let's go with the Deathly Hallows theme, which is theme. theme. We have some... Well, it says Harry Potter Dark Arts Colour illusion lipsticks but they are definitely hallows okay no this was eight pounds fifty so this would have been my free one just like buy two and get the cheapest buy buy two and get one free but it's the cheapest one of the three that is free so good at explaining stuff oh and i'm so good at opening stuff so we have three triangle lipsticks and you have to do this one at a time, I can't want this. So it has got the Deathly Hallows detail on the front. So we have one, which is... Okay, so you're reading this, it says, Want a breathtaking look? Uh, beneath the dramatically dark appearance of the Harry Potter Dark Arts Colour Illusion Lipstick lies a bold shade of red, purple or orange. Okay, I am so confused. Ooh. All look the same colour. Yep, get it now. One doesn't even work. Okay. So. We have. They are all the same colour. But this one actually doesn't work. One of them you keep twisting. And nothing happens. It is broken. So. Good stuff. One is broken. Um, so let's swatch these other ones, shall we? It's, yeah, bright red. It's very weird having triangle lipstick. Now that this one isn't going down, this one's popped up, and now it's not going back down again. I could push it down. So these suck. Alright, uh, this one is pink. Oh gosh, the last one which isn't popping up is supposed to be the orange then, so we're going to have to use my finger. 
The last one is like an orange. You can't see it properly because the lipstick isn't popping out. So this is a very no novelty item. There's no shade names or any... I mean, they have numbers. C1, B1, A1. So I'm guessing you could use work out which one is which and keep them like so you know the difference because they're all the same colour so if you just were to pick one up and look at it you wouldn't have a clue what colour you're gonna put on yeah and the fact that one comes up but doesn't go down one doesn't come up so I can't even use it and the other one is alright and they're triangle um yeah these are a miss for me they they're worth less than eight pounds if you ask me but it's a novelty item, I guess. More for novelty than actual wear. I think I will be taking these back. I don't know if I'll get one that isn't broken or if I'll just get my money back because these are rubbish. Next is a slightly bigger item and this was £10. And these are Harry Potter bath essences. One for each house, and they are little, just cute bath essences. So we will open these up and have a snoop. Comes with a little loop on one side, so you can hang it on your Christmas tree. It's an ornament. I'm, ca I'm getting very cynical now. I apologise. Those lipsticks have annoyed me. It does have the scents on the back, so we will go over them one at a time. They are glued into the packaging. They're glued into the packaging. So the balls are really cute. They're plastic. And they have a little rose gold top. And they are sweet. Oh, so bath they're like bubble baths. It doesn't say on the actual pot itself what it smells like. So you'd have to keep the packaging if you want to know what they smell like. So Hufflepuff. It's grapefruit, lemon, and orange. Oh god, they're sealed. <laughs> I have just seen though. If you can see, but it's a little badger on the actual lid, which is cute, and they are all sealed. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So, that is definitely, I can just smell grapefruit with that one. Ravenclaw has got a little raven on the top. I don't know my birds, but it doesn't look like an eagle to me. I think that's a raven. So, this is notes of tube rose, jasmine, and rose. What's tube rose? It's a very masculine smell actually, considering it's supposed to be rose and tuby rose and jasmine. It's a very masculine smell. Gryffindor. Lion on the top. This is bergamot, lime and verbena. <laughs> the only one I know of that is lime. <laughs> I don't know what the other things are. There's a hint of lime in there. I don't know what that smells like. And we save the best for last, hopefully. Oh. Slytherin. And this is bergamot and juniper. Juniper? Juniper? I don't know what these are. Why are they so complicated? It's alright. I can't barely smell that one. I think these are cute more than anything else. Like, I might keep these for decoration rather than actual to use because I like the colours. The smells are alright. They just kind of smell like the generic scents you get when you buy like kids bubble bath. I mean, some of the kids ones smell amazing, but like the generic y smell right ones. They kind of smell like that to me. So. These are cute to look at, only a tenner, which isn't bad, £2.50 per one, so I'll keep these just to look at. Now, the last thing in here better be good, and I won't actually find out until Christmas. This is the last thing I got oh, was the Harry Potter Boots Advent Calendar. So, I couldn't not get this. It opens up. I mean, this may have stuff that I've already bought in it. I mean, some of these look like they'll be lipsticks. So it's probably going to be the same stuff that I've already just bought. Just taking a quick glance, but not looking into it, I think you get the same thing for every house. So if you get a nail polish for Slytherin, then you will get three more nail polishes. So that seems a bit repetitive to me, but I suppose it's fair if you're 
a specific kind of house kind of house um <laughs> i cannot for the life of me open these up before they're supposed to be opened up i can't do it i've thought about it and i can't last year i did the pop advent calendar in one go purely because it turned up after christmas so i didn't really have a choice um but i can't i can't take up an advent calendar and open it all in one go it's like it's a present every single day leading up to Christmas and if you open it all in one go then it's just done in the space of like 20 minutes. It's finished. I will open this up one, one by one. Um, maybe I'll open it up one day at a time on Instagram if anyone would be interested in that let me know, comment down below. Um, if you follow me on Instagram would you want me to sort of do a quick video every day of opening them up so you can see what they are? It does tell you what they are on the back so peak but it looks nice and I think that must be Christmas day I don't know that doesn't have a number on it that's weird <laughs> yeah actually looking at this properly that big one in the middle doesn't have a number on it so it must be Christmas day one two zero three you can't even find three how many days is on this I'm so confused well three is there is there an 11 here I genuinely can't see the 11. I can see 12. Am I blind? Oh, I am blind. 11, 12. Yeah, there's 25. Kay gave up with it. There's 25, so the middle one must be Christmas Day. Oh, which is weird that it doesn't actually say 25. Oh, it does say on the front. It includes the movie Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on digital download. So you can actually download the... <coughs> download the first... Uh, you can download the Philosopher's Stone. That's weird. Okay. Ooh, I am gonna kill myself with this. Um, yes, yeah, so that is it for this video. Tell me. Ah, uh, yeah, did you enjoy this video? What are your thoughts on the lipsticks? Like, I'm gonna return them because they don't work. Like, do I buy them again or do I just give up? Because I'm not impressed. Maybe like £8.50, maybe I'll return them and buy like one of the lip balms instead. Why is that the universal sign for lip balm? Um, because I got the lip balms last year and I loved them because they did one that was scabbers and it was so cute. It was around here somewhere. Okay, the lip balm was here somewhere. I've obviously put it away because I keep tidying up. And I don't know where I'm putting anything. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. What is your favourite thing? Have you got anything else from this collection yet that I haven't got? And What's your opinion on them? Because, I don't know. I'm a bit... I've not been thrilled by these things. So do I want to get the rest of the collection or not? Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you um, enjoy this video. And please subscribe if you want to see more of my face hitting myself in the head with big boxes. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.